let the painting take you into this very special space from which it came. And what you would discover is your own inner beauty reflected on the painting. The Egypt I grew in is a gentle environment. There was no upheavals, there was no political strifes and things like that. And it's a beautiful environment for an artist to grow in. Now, at one time, I had to take a really good look at what is it I'm doing as an artist. After a lot of reflection, a lot of meditation, I realized that you can put your soul, your spirit, so to speak, in the paint itself, and then it shows on the painting. And this may be one of the reasons why people vibrate in an amazing way and respond in an amazing way to the paintings. I had lay people who would walk over and say, I got nothing to do with abstract work. I don't even like it. Why do I like your work? What they are liking is that vibrancy or vibration that is emanating from the painting and it is resonating with a chord that's of their depth, of their inner psyche. In the earlier work, the bravado of the brush was very apparent. You could see actually large brush strokes going across the painting. You could see the action of the brush. Now, as the work became more and more about the inner layers of my psyche, the work started having a purity to it, an ethereal look to it. So yes, the painting has evolved quite a bit. I use very large Chinese brushes that are very, very soft. And so the brush doesn't really leave marks, much like a watercolor technique only on a beautiful big large canvas. In fact, even my signature interferes. It looks like a little blob on a very beautiful, fluid, pure surface. I'm going to be exhibiting the Isness series. In essence, it's saying all there is, is the Isness of being. Things are what they are. They are not the cliches that we are used to giving them. Hence, the painting has become so beautiful and so abstract that it defies a subject or a cliché. Of course, the viewer is absolutely free because this art is made freely, born freely, and you're free to look at it whichever way you want. If this painting can give a person a minute or two or ten of enjoyment and spiritual entertainment. I have succeeded in gifting some beautiful moments to a person.